What is up, everyone? It's the Geeky Gamester, and I'm back with Arcade Games Part 3. Alright, so last game I left off of Superman. Uh, I'm going to continue with Teenage Mutant Turtles all the way down to the last game that will be X Men Children of the Atom. Alright, let's start. Now, I've been playing this game a lot in our arcade, especially like at like Chuck E. Cheese's or Celebration Station. A lot, a lot of places had this game. Um, they also had the Nintendo version, but it was nowhere close. I'm talking about the regular NES, which was basically Team Man Turtle. It was this, but it wasn't. It was like a really lame version of it. They just called it Team Man Turtles 2, the arcade game. I uh, have yet beat this game, but I'm gonna play it and beat it one day. The thing is, like, um, this game in the Simpsons game is basically has it where, because the version that I downloaded with the four player, um, arcade ROM. So basically, I can't pit the characters. I had to play it like how it would be if it was arcade. So since I'm playing as, um, player one, Play one will automatically be Leonardo. Cause like with the Simpsons, player one would be Mars. So what I want to do is get some other arcade sticks. And I'll be it hook because I have like a USB port that's a multiple USB port. And I can hook it up and set it up so I can have like, you know, four people play with me. But I like I don't my phone think about it, my phone drains a lot. It, the battery in my phone drains. See, I already got at the end already. That fast. Other uh, level. I'm already at the end of the level. Played the game so many times that it's like. Uh, you bitch. Oh, yeah, it had to have a gun. Oh. Rock steady. It started. It, it, Is to start shooting at the area that you're gonna be. Yep. Gotta take advantage of that hole, invisible. Come in swinging. All right, so uh, that's Team Man and Turtle. That was say uh, I eventually played the game. Same thing with Hook. Next, it will be Turtles. Team and Turtles. Actually, it's the third. Yeah, it would be the third. It would be the second arcade game, but it will be considered on the. NES console, Team Ninja Turtle 4, Turtles in Time. And the, uh, super, it's the Super NES, actually. The Super NES version is just like the arcade version. That's why a lot of people like that one 
you know, so much because they finally got it right with the home console version. I love the song. I just love hearing it at the arcade. And then I find out that they got it from the Turtles Out of This Shell concert. For those who grew up in the 90s, you know what I'm talking about. It's Pizza Power. April on the other morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Crank, bring that statue back, you bloated beanbag. Bastard, stop it. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, they switched it around. And just, so attack is now A, where attack would be in the original one. Konami. One thing I love about Konami, they made some good classic games. They made this, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, X Men. A lot of beat 'em up games. They they made a lot of classic beat 'em up games. It's like I hit none of them whatever come through the door. Really? I can't remember how to in like in the in the Nintendo version I was able to you know, knock him at the screen, which you can do. Things you do, you kind of like hit up. There you go. Yeah, you have to hit like up when you're hitting them. You get him in a, like a combo. There you go. That's the first game they ever had a um a fourth broke the fourth wall. That's the first ever video game they ever broke the fourth wall. Bastard, stop me. Chill shop. Goodbye. Alright, I'm 
I'm not going to beat. I haven't played that game in a while. I'll beat that too. Uh, whatever. I am speaking of the devil, The Simpsons. Now, yeah, what well, I was saying, you're going to play as Mars when you're the first person. Haven't beat this game in years. Uh, the first time I ever beat it was at the arcade. I think I was at a movie theater. I think I was at a uh, movie 10. Actually, uh, planned it earlier today while I was at, when I was on uh, stay at lunch when I got back from a lunch break at work because there was something you know I want, had a couple of times and I literally played it up until the, the final balls, but I didn't beat them because I had to go clock back in for lunch. Why well, clock like yeah back in from lunch yeah I, yeah if I just said <laughs> I don't know why I repeated that twice. Uh, Marge is like the last person that I would want to play with in the game. I'm like, Bart is like my favorite person. I like playing as Homer because he does like Marge. He does like karate whenever he fights. Lisa, she has the jump rope. I hate I did it. Super Marge, yeah. When it when Bart jumped back in after he gave me, he tr he turned to this, to Bart man. I say at least it looks like Wonder Woman. For a small, for a short while, this and S Men were on um, S Box Arcade, 360 Arcade. And there we go. But yeah, I still love watching The Simpsons. I hate I stopped watching it. I've been watching The Simpsons since it first appeared, like back in the eighty, late eighty. 88, I think. One day, <sighs> oh, yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, another classic game to love playing in the arcades. Last place I ever played this was in Chuck E. Cheese. What well, the Astro Arcade? Last place I played it in the Astro Arcade was at Chuck E. Cheese. But yeah, this and Team Turtles, like Celebration Station is another place that had uh, this game. Like a lot of classic games like The Simpsons and Turtles, S-Men, they show up in a lot of places like that. <laughs> Gotta be the holster. 
What you gotta do, brother? What you gotta do? It's been a while since I played, though. The thing about the Battle Royal is, uh, the Royal Rumble, not Battle Royal, but the Royal Rumble is, you could do your finisher, but you have to get them at a certain position. You can eliminate people, or but basically you can eliminate them by throwing them over the rope, or you can eliminate them by pinning them. If I can get him in the right position, I can do the lead drop. Ah, uh, Sergeant Slaughter. I just love watching wrestling too, though. Like the whole Hogan era when I first started watching as a kid. You, you, yeah, macho, you, you, dig it. What power driver? Big boss man. <coughs> Who finisher at the um the spinning um side slam. Sidewalk slam, what they call it. There we go. Drop the leg. Oh the leg drop. There we go. Spinning net breaker. Three. Goodbye, Mr. Perfect. What? I pinned him. Jake the Snake Robert. Uh, Kurt Hennings. The ultimate warrior. Hulk Hogan. They had to do him after he. Where's Macho? Yeah, brother. The ultimate powers. Do you feel it? Oh, yeah. Oh, the freaking DDT. He didn't hit me with a finisher. Damn it. Get up, get up, get up, get up. And time's starting to run out, too. That's another thing, too. It's like, it doesn't give you enough time to basically finish the whole rumble. Yeah, that's sucked. Boo, Hogan. There we go. Now I'm hitting it. God damn it. Freaking. Three. Come on. Damn it. He might win this. He might win this. Get up. It's over. Damn it. It's over. That's it. Uh, I beat nine people, though. So that's pretty good. No, I didn't beat nine people. Uh, I'm thinking of somebody else's name. But yeah, that's a fun game. I will play the tag team to show y'all what that looked like, but, uh, yeah. I'll play and actually beat it. I actually beat the tag team division, but all it does, once you win the belt, you got to keep going, which is kind of stupid. <laughs> it's like, I won the belt, so you expect me to keep going. 
but they did a remake to this. It was an app on um, Android and um, Apple uh, phones, and apparently it was also a. You can actually play it on uh 360 in the arcade but i could never find it but th just like in here it was hard to figure out how to do the finishers like the only person i can really do a finish i can do a finisher with like a couple of people like i figured out how to do the strong cold stunner i figured out how to do the attitude adjustment and the rock bottom but those were the only ones i could actually really do i couldn't do everybody else's that was weird but they should bring back russell fest and like how they did it with all the newer generation and put the legends in there and then how you play the game and unlock the legends. But, you know, hey. WrestleFest to me is one of the best. Next to WrestleMania, the uh, arcade game, the two of the best WWE games, arcade games out there. And then you have uh, the Astro Royal Rumble that was, on, uh, that was on Dreamcast. I played it once. I didn't know how to play that damn game. Oh, yeah, another game. Next game is Willow. Now, wait a minute, what the hell? Oh. Hold up. Wait a minute, it won't let me play Willow. Oh, come on. That sucks. Well, for those who don't know what Willow, Willow is based off, I need to f try to find another copy then. But Willow is based off of a classic movie from the 80s. I think 89 when it came out. But yeah, it's pretty much The Hobbit. It's pretty much Lord of the Rings before Lord of the Rings. Instead of a ring, is a baby. There you go. That's the thing they're fighting for, a baby. And the reason why they're fighting for the baby is because the baby is destined to become queen of the land, but the land is kind of like, you know, a dark place at the time. And this evil witch, uh, sor witch slash sorceress wants to destroy, kill the baby, you know, because she you knows that the prophecy, if she grows up, she'll become queen and the land will be, you know, nice and peaceful like it should be it's a good movie you never seen the movie you should sit down you should watch it i don't think it's not on netflix but you have to uh try to you know find the movie you know that you can find it somewhere but it's a really good classic movie all right that's game x man another like i was saying earlier another classic game that i love playing in arcades growing up i actually had beat this game Best part about this game is the intro. Being a kid, walking through the arcade, just hearing that song, you, that, you don't have to near, be near. You can just hear the song and know that it's in there somewhere. You just have to find it. But, oh, they got S-Men. All right, cool. Like, it's certain games you can hear the, the song, you know, back in, like, the 80s and the 90s, you know, and know that, you know, they got some good games in there. Like it's a bar like what I said earlier on the first one, it's a barcade here in Charlotte that had pretty much all the games I've been playing, they have them there pretty much. Practically not all of them, but majority of them. They have X Men. They have they don't have Willow. Uh Marvel's Capcom, they got like some of those games. I think they got the first one and the second one. They got Mar Marvel Superheroes and everything. But the thing I like about this is It'll let me pick who I want to be. I, it had the fourth thing, but it like it's. But I think this is the one for the four, uh, area because like the original one has like area that you can play with all of them. So it's like, it has like a yeah like the the, the four yeah the four uh arcades that you had the one that's like really big, that basically lets you play as. The hide with the turtles and the Simpsons, where it lets you play as all six uh, X Men. I actually had the animated series that this is based off of. It's not the whole series; it's just uh, one episode. Once I found out that they 
it's actually the original first ever X-Men series that they were about to start, but it didn't do that good when they, you know, a lot of people, they got negative reviews, so they're like, all right, so it's just going to be a pilot. It, and I got the pilot episode, and it basically, it literally, it's this game. It's what's happening in the game. The whole game pretty much explains what happens in that one episode. But the X-Men, uh, pretty much a girl named Kitty Pryde, if you read the comic books, you know who that is, aka Shadowcat, joins the X-Men for the first time. Yeah, there you go. And, uh, she pretty much, you know, they're they going up there like a mission and like pretty much it's the brotherhood of mutants they attacking the city and pretty much but that's all the setup for juggernaut to break in to the um the mansion and kidnap um charles and everything the whole part of Matt needle plan and everything but yeah but yeah i had that move for like years since it was like 2000 though when i got it though but the but the anime the anime been out for like years. Another thing that's weird about the game is the fact that I'm fighting um well damn. Like now nah, we're just gonna fuck you over. <laughs> already already at Pyro. Shut up. Take it. Take it. Take it. Nah, nah, take it. Nah, you sit down. And there we go. But yeah, I love this game. That's cute. But, um, yeah, what's next? All right, um, it's Mary Street Fighter. Not the Chosen Adam. That's the last one. All right, another good classic. I had yet beat this game. And I wish that Capcom would do a collection where they put out their cla classic fighting games like X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Children of the Atom, um, okay, X-Men, Marvel Superheroes, Marvel vs. Uh, Street Fighter, um, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, X-Men Children of the Atom, uh, then Marvel vs. Capcom. There'll be five games on that thing. You can do Marvel, Cap add Marvel to Capcom 2 to that too. But like all the 2D games, the classic um, Marvel 2D, Marvel Capcom 2D games. I'm like. The controls are like not even the way how they should be. That didn't work with what I got.
Got him. Got her. It's over. Got her. Can't block forever. I'm really good with Wolverine. Uh, but yeah, but here's the thing. In this game, this game is way freaking hard. For some reason, I can't even get on the first fight with most people sometimes. If I do, it's, it's just for some reason this game. I know some people are like, nah, you just suck at the game. But I yet beat this game too. It moves slower than other games too. Really? There we go. Really? What the hell is that? There we go. Really, really? <laughs> Take it. Yeah. <laughs> and block all of that. Another reason why it's difficult because the god dang game blocks like crazy. Shit. The new and what? The, the, you know the and one? Um, not and one, but um, one up arcade, uh, arcade cabinets. One of them actually has this game on it. So, uh, cause like, uh, I'll watch the guy. I'm gonna try again. He was basically doing review because he does reviews and talks about like the upcoming uh, one up arcade um cabinets that basically coming up and everything. And he was talking about how um, and basically it was like the guy they had the more combat ones out there, but the guy was playing this game. It was the more combat look with it. He was playing this game, so he's like, maybe they have, you know, the, like the Marvel Collection games, like Marvel Superheroes, or if they gonna do like the X-Men, it'd be like X-Men versus Street Fighter, and, um, the Children of the Atoms, and Marvel. Well, damn, I'm not doing anything with Cyclops. I can do okay with Cyclops. I'm just not doing okay with this game. Yeah, this game, this is, when it comes to s I like this game, but God, this is not hard.
Well, that up. Thank you, trying to do the damn move, like. Look at this, look at this fuckery. What is this fuckery right here? This, this spamming fucking typhoon. That is the cheap, that is like playing against somebody online. Fucking bullshit right there. Oh, this bitch. All right, so that's cool. Like, y'all see this bullshit, right? Who else I can do okay with? <sighs> like, I can play with Psylocke, but Marvel superheroes, like, it took me about to get used to her, but, like, bet that, like what I said, the controllers aren't set up the way how it would be set up in the actual arcade. So, like, I got three punch buttons in front of me where I need to have at least a kick button. I usually kick the basic for distance when I play f fighting games. Should have started spamming a her ass. Oh, y'all see how she blocking. Fucking game. Gotcha. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh my god. Yeah, I like that mean. <laughs> Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Yeah. Yeah. You're talking all that good shit before. <laughs> before you get your ass whooped. Damn it! <laughs> oh, well, I'm done. But yeah, so, so far, that's all I have in my arcade. I'm actually going to try to get some more games. And whenever I get some more games, I'll try to remember write down the one, new ones I get that work and then go straight to those whenever I do part four. You know, or I might do another one down the road, uh, some months down the road, whenever I get some new ones and then probably play it, show all of them again. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. All right, catch you guys later. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you like what you've seen so far, uh, hit that uh, subscribe button and uh well hit the like button and please subscribe but yeah definitely subscribe because i need more subscribers and uh i don't know if i'm gonna play anything else like on my ps um uh, four or my xbox which i need to get back to games on my xbox i need to get back to like games on my ps for like doom and um second son and you know, a couple other stuff that i started playing but uh if i don't get to um you know this month, definitely next month, I'll try to start playing more games, more like how I used to. But, uh, yeah, that's it for now. All right, catch you guys later. Peace.